ready for a big one. We talked about him in the open. There's Logan Stieber, two-time NCAA champion, only a junior. He's at 141 pounds up against young freshman Zane Rutherford. Rutherford comes to Penn State after blazing to the 2013 Penn State title. So he's a true freshman going up against Logan Stieber. Now, this is certainly tough duty for the freshman. Rutherford, Rutherford is 10 and 0, but he has not met the top uh, wrestlers at this weight class. And what a way to get introduced to uh, the, t the upper echelon. Nice single leg attempt there again. Scoops the bottom leg here. Now watch him try to go ahead and push that. He's actually going to come across and come into the hip pocket right there, the front pocket, and try to create a little hip separations. Kind of got to go back to what he originally thought was the best thing to do was push the knee away and then come back and get the, uh, the points. And, and there's the two points. And what Steber does so well is that he just attacks the guy from the top position. Don't look for him to give up any easy escapes. Well, Logan Steber has to be the answer that, uh, for Miko uh, Megalutis. That tech fall was huge for Penn State. It was. You know, you know, Penn State's obviously favored in probably more weight classes than Ohio State, but uh, this is a great opportunity to get some bonus points back. And He's got the chicken wing on the far side, and he'll work that half Nelson on the near side as well as anybody in the country. And when he gets what he wants, he's going to go ahead and work him back through. Didn't quite get it. Nice job by Rutherford staying out of that. Rutherford from Benton, Pennsylvania, Benton High School, and Steber from Monroeville, Ohio, and a two-time NCAA champion. Brother Hunter Steber is redshirting this year. All-American, returning All-American, yet he's going to redshirt, and then they'll be in the lineup together for the Buckeyes next year. Oh, boy. That was close. And the referee called potentially dangerous right there. The, the forehead of Rutherford was still on the mat. So... 137 left in the first period. And again, what, what separates Logan Steber is that there are no cheap escapes, no nothing that uh, he doesn't want to have happen. Well, when you talk about separate, there's a big separation between first and the rest of the group here at 141. And there's Rutherford in there on the single leg. He's ranked number eight. But we're going to see where he really belongs after this match. Yeah, and, and the nice work here right there. He's going to go ahead and try to go ahead and... Uh, Keep his head up, do what he can to be able to do that. This is a time waster here for Steber. Go off the man. Not many guys get to Steber's leg, number one, because he usually keeps a pretty low stance, but uh, uh, he's best when he's on his offense, taking a lot of shots and, and working from the top position. Less than a minute left in the first period, and all of a sudden, you look at Rutherford, and he's uh, having the, the match that's in his favor for what needs to happen for the team. And he's stalling. <laughs> but this is, oh, that's a quick stall call, and you hear it just like a guttural reaction from the Penn State crowd. <laughs> look at that. And they don't just talk. They stand up and get going, and uh, Rutherford hit with a warning for stalling. Yeah, it, it, it's just uh, he just got done taking a shot. Yeah, he had just within 10 seconds had taken a nice uh, circle single. 30 seconds, 30. Now, I'm wondering at this point in time in the match if, if Steber regrets letting him out fairly easily. These two guys are getting their fingers all intertwined right there. That's uh, not beneficial to anybody, but uh, Rutherford doing a nice short, job of holding short. position, and that's uh, he's probably break that. He's going to go ahead and sh make the shot without the, uh, the left arm clear. So he's got it tied up here. The fingers are intertwined. And that's the end of the first period. Steve on that takedown out in front, two to one. As they go to the second period, Steber. Winning NCAA titles at 133, now up at 141. And what I like about Steber, who chooses down to begin, he's not afraid of anything. I mean, he took a chance in the All-Star meet, went up to 149 to wrestle Maple, and uh, and defeated him, the 141-pound uh, defending champion from last year. And so Steber gets after it and goes after it. And he's one of the best. You're right, Tim. Not afraid of the challenge. And Kind of like Kyle Dake did last year, moved up the weight class to, to, to uh, and it's great to see our champions, great NCAA champions here doing that here to provide more entertainment for the sport because everyone really kind of wonders and, and uh, he's able to do that. But, hey, look at what 
Rutherford's doing here. He's got I'm both starting legs. to believe. Yeah, he's yeah. Got both yeah. legs in. Put some riding time on the clock. Already got uh, 20, it down to 29 seconds. And, and this crowd is so knowledgeable. You know, just like some of the great venues that I've uh, seen in the past. They know what's going on. Both legs being put in. You know, and if you're going to call stalling, I guess, the way you did before, I mean, this might be an opportunity to call the champ for stalling. Rutherford's getting all of the riding time that Logan Stinger built up, erased, and turning it around and starting to build it up himself. Has both legs in, and Stieber really is getting uh, uh, cranked over and speaks to his strength, and that shoulder's out of position pretty well. And he's really got nothing for this uh, leg being in. Yeah, There's the stalling. <laughs> and... <laughs> Here comes the reaction of the crowd. 40 seconds left in the second period. Both wrestlers been called for stalling, warned. It's so predictable the way that the, uh, the, the match has been officiated at this point. But uh, now this is a situation that's a little bit different than dual meets. Should probably pop up to his feet to get a new start. Now the referee's going to call stalemate. 48 seconds of riding time built up by the freshman, true freshman, Zane Rutherford, ranked number eight. He's undefeated. We are just waiting for uh, the challenge of uh, Logan Stieber and um, Zane Rutherford has met the challenge. Tom Ryan, eighth year at Ohio State, looks on with some uh, appropriate concern. So, nice job of clearing the pockets out there a little bit. It just not really doing anything. He didn't create any action. And you know what? He's got his toes flared out. I like the look in Zane Rutherford's eyes. He thinks something special could happen here in a very special place. It's two to one, but the riding time is now in favor of Rutherford. A minute seven. They're going neutral, so he keeps the riding time. Well, they're going to stop it right here. They want to know what... Uh, have an idea what the, the concern is. Stand. Stand. Yeah, we're not privy to this discussions between the officials and the coaches. We're talking about maybe a locked hands call and you can review anything but a fall. And so Tom Ryan is choosing to review uh, what he is looking at, it could be that locked hands that you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, he's given a locked hand signal, right. so I'm thinking he's looking at uh, maybe that, that perhaps Rutherford had locked the hands uh, late in the uh, second period, sometime during the second period. Now the officials will go back and look, and if they do see locked hands from the top position, they can then call the tech technical violation and give the one to Steber. Anything is reviewable except the fall. Now, there's an old adage in wrestling is that the, you know, got a guy that's tough in the top position, one of the better things to do is try to ride him. Ride a rider. And, uh, you know, I think that's exactly what uh, Rutherford was able to do. to do he knows what he wants to do very confident young man well he's been able to get the riding time back and you know he stayed busy enough to stay stayed off his back number one in the first period and uh take a look at the replay 
So was there any locked hands right here? That that you can lock your hands in that position right there. That's just a, a straight power half. And uh, you know, did he did that happen? In, if they're looking at that, there's nothing there, and there's nothing with that either. So we're gonna get started. No indisputable evidence that it occurred. But the choice was Rutherford's, and he chose the, the uh, neutral position, which is a good call on his part. And he does have riding time. Right. And so right now, it's effectively two to two. You know, that just speaks to the early part of the He gave up the early takedown, but he just stayed off his back enough to, to, to allow the champ to, uh, you know, just kind of give it up. Oh, I guess go ahead and try to do this in the feet. So here's back in on a single leg here, Rutherford is. Showed some promise here. And right now, if he can go ahead and get his left ankle free, which he just did, all right, now he can improve the position. And I said the defender, the, the returning champion is, is in a bad way right here. Now he's got the, uh, he can just come to his feet. Just come to his feet real quickly. Now he does. And we'll drive back in. I look to get neutral, I suppose, is the best you could probably hope for in this position. They wrestle until every part of the bodies of each wrestler are off, so they continue wrestling. Scoring can happen if any part of the body is in bounds. You can see the toes, they're yeah. still in bounds. As long as uh, it's probably more of a stalemate position at this point. Good call. Stalemate, go back to the center, 57 seconds left. Not only is Steber undefeated, as is Rutherford, but as you pointed out, Steber has had nothing less but bonus points in every match. 9-0 and with all bonus points. Major decision, two tech falls and six pins. Well, you know that moving up weight class, cutting the weight's not going to be an issue here. Now he comes back in on that same leg. But you see what uh, uh, Rutherford's done there? He's tied up those fingers right there. And, 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 and he hasn't allowed uh, Steber to get his hands together. So Steber is shooting with his hands tied up. And, and they're not going to have a lot of success uh, when that happens. 30 seconds left in regulation time. If it ends right see, now, we'll see. go right to overtime. See the hands clasp right there? Well, neither guys should be able to score off of that. So it's kind of a pacifier. And you want to clear off that position. So we know what Ruth see they tie up each other right there. And it's rare that somebody will give up that grip tie and the fingers intertwined like that. And it looks like we're going to go to sudden victory overtime, and we'll just tell it like it is. One minute goes on the board. First takedown, first score of any kind. If neither gets called for stalling because they both have warnings, it's over. So there you go. We'll talk about the 2.30-second periods if we get there. I'm really surprised how silent it is in here. You know, this place should be erupting. This is upset potential here, babe. It's opportunity to come back through on the counter shot there by Rutherford. Now what he's going to be looking to do is get his... Now, Steber this time ties up the inside wrist, so it's really difficult to improve your position, but he's able to go ahead and get up to his feet. He's trying to get to the far ankle right there. If he does that, that's points. Notice how Steber's flexibility there. He keeps that ankle as far away as he can. Rutherford understands that he's got to get it done right now because Steber is really difficult to get away from. Driving two points. Two points. Two points. Take he upset down. the win over the two-time NCAA champion. Clearly knew what he had to do. What a big, big upset and win for the true freshman Zane Rutherford. The Benton High School flash comes into Penn State. One of the bigger upsets, if not the biggest ever at Rec Hall. Wow. You know what was so impressive about that, Tim? He, he went for it here. Here's the, the counter shot right here. It comes all the way through. Steve was fortunate he didn't get taken down right there, but co totally committed to the shot. But he had to be active in the, on his feet in this, in this overtime period. He really had to be active. Coming all the way through, he works through it and circles around to the front side, changes his grip up, drives across, and gets the takedown, and it was clearly two. Let's go to Shane with Zane. You can't hear yourself in this place. Zane Rutherford, never bleeding shark-infested water. Steeper did, you took advantage. Put this one into words. I dreamed this one last night. Just laying in bed, laying up, and uh, I made it happen. Bottom line, uh, I took positions that I felt good and comfortable. He's a very good opponent, and uh, he just kept coming forward, too. But he's, got, he's got to keep coming forward the whole match. Walk us 
through that last takedown to win it. Um, I felt I felt I was getting on that leg the entire match, and uh, I just took advantage of it. Got on that leg again and finally finished it. Enjoy this one. Congratulations. Thanks. I appreciate it. Look at that. It, it doesn't get any better than that. Shane with Zane, the winner.